Hi everyone, it's me, Mr. D, and welcome. We're so sorry we can't be with you in Alaska this year. It's one of our favorite events to go to, so I hope that you're staying well and safe. We are too, so are our families. So we hope that uh, in these very unprecedented times that uh, things get back to normal quickly. So I, in the meantime, though, we want to show you in this particular video how to demo our course area and how to check out, as you can see, more about our programs. So this will give you an opportunity for a hands-on experience for our family members of IDEA and all of the surrounding communities in the Alaska area. Okay, so as you get in and get going, I'm gonna take you right to our website so you can see how it works and how to get in and how to demo our classes. All right, and we'll see you next year. We'll be back. Hi everybody and welcome to our demo area. Actually, this is our entire curriculum website where there's even more than how to demo our math courses. So let me take you through a quick tour of what to expect when you're here on our curriculum website at mrdmath.org. And you can see the URL right up here, just type in mrdmath.org and it's gonna take you, as you're gonna see, right to our page and here it comes. Sometimes when you first log in, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and put your login. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment about how to log in and how to get into our math courses. But what I'd like you to see is our catalog itself. When you check out our catalog, our catalog will let you know everything that is going on of all of our classes that we offer. So our main website, mrdmath.com, you can go to, that's our front end public website, but this is our private student and family area only website, mrdmath.org, which is where you can order classes and you can actually sample our math classes as well. So beyond our math classes, as people know us for, we now offer American Sign Language, three different levels of American Sign Language. We have a college and career readiness course. It's a one semester course for students. We have an advanced writing course and there are more English classes being developed and on their way. And as you see, there's quite a few math courses. We do math courses in two ways both self-paced or live. And so you're able to go in and see the kind of course that you like to do. Our test prep programs for ACT and SAT prep, as well as other kinds of test prep programs that we're gonna be continuing to develop and have more of. And we've even added music and dance classes uh, direct from Spain. These are working with flamenco guitar or flamenco dancing. We also have summer courses available as well. We do our full full course in just 11 weeks over the summer if you need a fast-paced course. And also, you can do our readiness courses. But we're gonna take a look at our math courses. And just real quick, so you can see our math courses are in two ways. We do live online classes or our self-paced classes. And then we have co-ops in different parts of the US that are going on right now as well. But our live classes work this way. You can do our classes either in a full semester, they meet twice per week, and you can do a whole class in just one semester or our regular online live classes, which you can see different times that are available. So if you're looking at pre-algebra, you can look and see the different times with our different teachers that are available, and we have lots of amazing teachers, uh, and we're training more teachers to work with us as well as we go. So if you do see a course you want, you're simply going to log on here, do this. As an IDEA family member, you're gonna be able to fill out the documentation and we will set the course up for you, but this is where you can see if you were going to order a course and not do that through your organization, then you would go through here and you can just order the course and it sets up your username and password. Okay, so uh, there are our live classes and also along with our live classes, when we go back, we can also see the self-paced classes. A self-paced class just means that you're going to do the course on your own pace and that's what we're gonna take a look at now. Our self-paced courses, here they are, and you can go through and you can check those out as well. And you can see where they are. We also have consumer math now that is a project-based learning course. Okay, so what we wanna do though is log in. So to log in, simply log in using the word demo and Mr. D Math as the password. And when you do that, it's going to take you into our area where we have our courses that you can demo. Now, you're gonna notice here, it asks me, do I wanna save the password? For here, just click it, exit out. And the reason why is that if you save the password, the demo and the Mr. D Math password for this particular site, then if you do create, or when you have your student account created, it's gonna keep coming back to the demo. We want you to be able to log into your own unique username and password. So don't save that. Uh, you're also gonna be able to log out, and I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a moment. Let's check out Algebra 1. And how I did that was I just went to where my classes are, 
uh, which was here when I first was logged in and it told me classes and I can look up here and pick any of the classes but I can also see my classes down below and you just click on the class that you want to go to each one is going to tell you welcome to the demo area click on the lessons to begin which is right here but super important make sure that you log out of the demo before ordering or before you're going to use your own account and how you do that is by clicking the V in the top right corner here and just log out. And it's as simple as that. And then please do not change the username and password in here. And the reason why is because several people will be able to have the ability to access our demo area. But once you have your own username and password, then that is unique to you. All right, so here we are, we're in Algebra 1 and it says click on Lessons to begin. So in our courses, our lessons are designed in a way that's going to give you practice problems, and then an opportunity to record your grade for the practice problems and an online quiz. There are also chapter tests at the end of each chapter. In our demo area, you're going to be able to see two sections out of each chapter. So you can look at the section, sample the section, do the practice problems. You can even take the quizzes if you like, so feel free. You can enter a grade and you can take the online quiz. To get started, if you'd like to see how to do those things, you can click here as well, and there's some short videos you can watch. Also, our recommended calculators, the course pacing guide if you're gonna be doing a self-paced program, but how to complete a coursework section. So I'm gonna show you here in this video, but you can also go back and watch this again so you can do that in your leisure and not have to worry about that you've forgotten something from watching this video. So you can see how to enter a grade for a coursework section and how to complete an online quiz, which allows students to be able to send us messages right from their quiz if they have a question or need support while taking a quiz. Okay, so uh, if I wanna see everything that's available, I just click here where it says expand all and it shows me all the different sections I can look at. Matter of fact, let's pop in here. Now the green check marks mean that people have already looked at this. You can still look at it and it's okay. So just click on anything you want here and I'm gonna go here to chapter three. We're gonna look at solving equations with variables on both sides. And you're probably thinking, oh boy, that's what I wanted to do today was look at solving equations with variables on both sides. But you're gonna notice here that every time we go in, it talks about the section. The next one is gonna talk about entering the grade. And also it's going to tell you about taking the online quiz. Even though it says completed, you can take it again and I'll show you how in just a moment. All right, so what happens? Well, we go in and we do what? What I'm gonna ask you to do is to open up the coursework practice problems. And you're gonna see, here they are, and they're showing you the practice problems for this section. In this particular section, if you notice, there was a part two. A lot of times when we do a part two, it's because we want students to have the opportunity to what I call yummy, delicious, and super nutritious word problems. And so the students will be able to go in and to be able to work on some word problem applications as well. So uh, we have to give them as much as we can there for keeping them interested in yummy, delicious, and super nutritious word problems. Now I'm gonna open up these solutions and I'm gonna come back to that in a second. But what students will do now is you've got this, you can either write, write in a notebook or you can print these out. And so either way works. Now what's going to happen? Well, what we want students to do is to turn on the online video. While they're watching the video, this video is interactive so that they can go in and they can pause the video they can work on practice problems and then come back to the video. So this way they can have the opportunity to work at their own speed and a pace that works for them. Okay, so I'll turn the video on. And I'm sure you hear the super cool music in the background. <laughs> and so you can move this, uh, you can move this. And if you notice the little white bar is starting to fill up here and we can move things here, it's just buffering like a YouTube video might do. So here we go here and here we can take a look at a practice problem here. And here's a practice problem where I'm showing you how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Well, whenever there's a positive X and a negative X, you already know the smaller one's going to be the negative one. And, and so I'm talking in the background as you can hear, but you can make this bigger so it fits your whole screen. It's easy to see. And then you'll be able to go from there and you can follow along and you can see this particular video is 24 minutes. Uh, on average, our videos typically in Algebra 1 are usually between 15 and 25 minutes. As subject area gets more difficult, as you get into Algebra 2 and pre-calculus, the videos are gonna be longer. Even some of our Algebra 1 videos will start to get a little longer. 
which is why we recommend that you do the practice problems while you watch the video instead of trying to watch the entire 24 minute video and then try to remember what you just saw. And I don't know uh, for most people, what I my assumption anyway, is that a 24 minute math video, you might be sound asleep by the time it's all over. So what we wanna do to help you stay awake is give you practice problems to do while you're working on them. So you notice there's this problem right here, seven X minus three equals negative two X plus 15. If I wanted to go in the practice problems and I could start to look and see, well, look, number three right there, there's a practice problem that looks very similar to the one that I just showed on the video. So what we do then is you can go in and you can see how to do one on the video and then do it as you're going. Now, as students are completing this, you notice that we ask them then to enter their grade. Well, how do they get their grade? Well, these practice problems that they're going to work from we consider this a self-graded assessment. What does that mean? That means that we want our students to go in and go through and work them out. And you can see here, everything is worked out step by step, and you can see all the solutions to that, including our word problems. And it'll take you through step by step how to do them. So this way, what we want students to be doing is correcting their work as they go, making sure that they understand with complete mastery that way. And if they do have a question, they can email us by just clicking the messages up here and they can send us an email once that they have their course set up. So we ask you, it, rather we don't have you send us a message from the demo area because it's not associated with your personal email. If you do have a question that you wanna send us an email, use our contact form. But once you have a course, then students can come in and they can uh, send us messages right from, uh, right from their course area. And even if they wanted to go in and they wanted to take a quiz, and let's take a look at the quiz here. So if you notice here, if you wanna see how people did before, you're welcome to, you can click on the submissions. This person got them all right last time. If you wanna retake the quiz, you just go in and you retake the quiz. And when you're all done, uh, you can go through and you can click each one, see how you do, check it all out and see what it looks like. And once you're done, you can, you'll finish the quiz. Now I didn't do very well, why not? Because I didn't answer any of them. And so I might come down here to where the comments are and say, help Mr. D and whatever that you need to say there. Now, again, you'll do this once you're logged in as your own student. If you do have a question about working in the demo area, then you can actually send it to us as an email. But here for our students, once they have an account and they have their own course area, they can send us questions right from the quiz and we're happy to answer them and give them all the help they need. Okay, so that's what it looks like to work on our demo area. When you're in here again, remember you can go to any of our math classes, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Algebra, Pre-Calculus. Our first course that we offer is Pre-Algebra. They just happen to be listed in alphabetical order. So I hope that this was helpful for you so you could see how to demo our course area and I'm going to go back to the main page so you can see where we were and I simply do that by clicking that V and clicking log out and once I'm logged out I'm right back here to the main page and I can log back in again or you can use our contact key and you can send us an email as needed feel free to do that and you can let us know if there's questions that we can help you with okay I hope this was helpful demo our classes let us know how it's going and we look forward to working with you